Hey YouTube, this is WTF007 and um, the topic that I want to talk today about is atheism and why I have a problem with it. Hi there WTF Girl 7 My name is my name is uh, Darnuk and I am an atheist. Hopefully I can help clear some stuff up since you seem to have a problem with atheists. Um the reason why I have a problem with atheism is that a lot of what I noticed, and it's on the rise too, by the way, but a lot of atheists, to me, are against religion because of Christianity and the Bible. It is true that uh, a good bit of the atheists that you will find in um, on YouTube or in America itself do have a problem particularly with Christianity and the reason for that is because it is the most prominent religion within the country itself um, and the problems that they have with the Bible I will go into later and I don't think that's a strong enough reason to convert to atheism that's actually a mis misconception. People don't convert over to atheism. It's not a religion. It's just a, a state of point, um, which is either a disbelief in a god or gods or a non-belief in a god or god. Because, I, I mean, I don't agree with the Bible at all. Uh, some things I do, but a lot of things I don't. I think it's a very old, man-made text that that's very contradictory in a lot of ways you know um and in some ways they describe god as just a very jealous evil vengeful god so i know that's not a book that was made by god thank you for uh, recognizing that or you know indoctrinated by him or whatever but the problem i have with atheists is that they really Christian and Bible bash a great deal and and I really feel their sole purpose is to like convert everyone into atheism yes you will find some atheists that do bash on religion pretty hard um, not all but there are some that do do that now most of that is actually in response to a lot of the bashing that we take from Bible thumpers themselves. Uh, some of us get really frustrated with religious people that want to cram the religion down our throats. And the thing is, if, okay, if you as an atheist do not believe in God, okay, that's fine. If that's, you know, I'm not a judgmental Christian. It's like, you're going to burn in hell because I really don't care what the hell happens to you. I'm thinking about my own family. But if you don't, well, you know, don't believe in God. What is the problem with theists, like people like me, that just believe there's a God and believe in in a positive energy? Theists like like you, we really don't have a problem with those those that want to live and let let live. Our one of our main problems with some theists is the really extreme ones that want to impose their religious beliefs onto other people by passage of laws. Uh, a, couple, a couple of examples would be like DOMA, the Defense of Marriage Act, which, uh, which was pushed through by religious fundamentalists to describe marriage as in between one man and one woman. Uh, which goes against other religious beliefs that believe in, in polygamy, which I find ironic because the same people that pushed that through believe in Christianity, and Christianity uh, says nothing against polygamy but speaks of polygamy within the Bible. Um, another thing that got passed would be the don't ask, don't tell policy. Um, what's another one? Okay, let's go into who's actually running right now for for the presidency of two of two thousand and twelve. Rick Perry, Michelle Bachman, and and Sarah Palin. 
all three of them have injected their own religious beliefs into their policies. And the First Amendment clearly states that Congress shall make no laws respecting religion. Um, it's those people that push their religion onto, onto society itself that we really have a major problem with. Is, do you have a problem with people that, like, just a concept, that, let's take away religion. Wouldn't it be okay to just believe in something good, something that will influence you to be good? Not harsh rules or anything, but just something positive. Isn't it better to just believe in something positive than to not believe in anything at all? You know, my bird is having a conniption fit over here. I think that it is actually a good thing to do things to help society out as a whole. No problem with that at all. Um, but the thing is, it's like, okay, for prayer, for example, a lot of atheists, they, they worked really hard to get prayer out of schools, and you succeeded. I don't know what atheists think they won by doing that. It wasn't just atheists that helped to remove prayer from schools. It was um, other denominations of different religions that also wanted it removed because the prayer uh, that was being said uh, directly related to Christianity itself. Um, since schools are funded by the government, um, they're supposed to abide by separation of church and state. Also, um, if we were to have prayer in school, then we would have to accommodate every single faith system that is on the planet, which is more than 4,200 faith systems, not including the multiple denominations of those faith systems that are practiced. Because to me, if your argument is, I don't believe in prayer because it is indoctrinates the rules of Christianity and, and saying the word God and, and obeying and all this stuff. Okay, fine. Would you have a problem with just um, not prayer per se, but concentrate, uh, contemplative thought or something? You could pray without using God, I guess. You can say, um, I wish the well-being of others. Um, I meditate on helping people and I meditate on my family having a good life and things like that. Would you be against that? Um, where you're going with this is saying, sh should we give students a few minutes each each day, day for them to have their own private reflections to whatever religion or non-religion they're part of? which in essence it can be a good thing um, but setting it up you will have a lot of fighting in between different denominations and different religions of, 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 of how it should be done now because they took uh, school led prayer away does not mean that students cannot pray Students can still pray before they eat, before a class, before a test. Students even have, have the right to start their own religious club if they want to. I should know I started my own youth, youth, my own youth club in high school uh, for my uh, junior and senior year. That's what I'm trying to wonder. Like, would it be a problem if instead of the word God being put in schools for prayer. Would it be a problem if they said, okay, we tell all the children in the school instead of praying, um, now we're going to have a positive thought sequence. Just think of peace for the world and peace for your fellow students. Would you have a problem with that? Again, you're going to have the problem of what kind of setup you're going to have, have because you're going to have op opposition from uh, many different sides that they want it set up in a particular way. 
um, as I said, said before, there's nothing to stop students from praying on their own. That's what I'm wondering. Because you try to vilify religion, but you're kind of missing the whole intent of religion. Of course, it is, you know, to control in some ways religions, but spirituality to me is a different thing. Believing in positivity, believing in being better than who you are, believing in helping your fellow person. That's that's why, you know, religion is not good because religion means strict rules, but spirituality, I think, is extremely important in this society. You may think so, but not everybody does. Not everybody believes that there's a spirit or that things are connected in a spiritual way. How do we go about um, proving that um, spirituality is good for the overall people if we cannot prove that a spirit actually exists? I mean, I have a problem with atheists because they throw science at everything. And the Big Bang Theory is a theory. I have theories too. That doesn't make it so. Um, the reason why you run into so many atheists that um, that uh, throws that throw science around is because so far uh, the best explanations that we have for the world around us has has been made through, has been gotten to through the scientific method. Uh, the Big Bang is a scientific theory. Like cell theory is a scientific theory. Like evolution is a scientific theory. Um, a scientific theory is looked at differently than the commonly used theory that the lay person uses. Within the scientific method, um, nothing goes beyond the stage of theory. Um, that's as far as it goes. Nothing is saying, is saying within the scientific community that this is 100% correct. Because within, within the scientific method, they constantly try to disprove things by trying to falsify them. Um, you gather data you you examine it you come up with a hypothesis uh, for how something works and try to make predictive abilities with it then you give it to other scientists that have studied the field that your hypothesis is in for for far longer and they try to disprove it as much as they can if they cannot disprove it by falsifying it over and over and over again then it becomes a scientific theory I'll leave a link for what a scientific theory actually is and I just think that they're so more concentrated with hating Christians that they just totally don't allow themselves to believe in God we don't need a church to believe in God we don't need a Bible to believe in God it's an innate feeling it's an innate feeling of our surroundings okay I'm what you will hear from most atheists and myself including is that we don't believe in a god or gods because there is no evidence pointing to a god or gods. Also, the definition or defining qualities of what a deity actually is have changed over time. Just within my lifetime itself, uh, the concept of the Christian god has changed significantly and it's changed in relation to what we have learned about the universe itself. It's called moving the goalpost. What is this innate feeling that there is a god or gods? How do we come about that? Or how do you come about that? Black American, quarter Native American, and what I learned from my Native American family members and it is, I guess you could call it a religion, but I call it more of a belief that we are not superior to all animals. We're not superior above everybody. That we have respect to our environment around us. 
that's a very good thing, and I wish m more people actually thought that way. Uh, we wouldn't have the ecological damage that we have if more people thought about the environment and did not try to separate us homo sapiens sapiens from the rest of kingdom alimalia and people keep saying what's the meaning of life but as a what i would call myself an intuitive spiritualist is that i believe that we do have an innate sense of good and the meaning of life is very simple we're here to love primarily. We're here to love. We're here to give love. We're here to get love. We are here to learn and we're here to teach. And that's it. I mean, when you think about it, it's that simple. That's what life is about. Why are we here? I have to disagree with you. I do not think that we have an innate sense of good and that we are here to love because good and evil love and hate these are human constructs um so far uh we have learned that we are here to survive and to pass our genes on to further generations um these concepts of good and evil get mixed around and i think that people need to stop doing that um, if, if you want to talk in a human construct of doing good or loving s somebody, you need to be more pacific about what you're talking about. So, I mean, some people say, well, why are we here? Why don't we just go to heaven and go straight to it? No, because I believe intuitively this is what I feel. And a lot of people, there's a new movement of people like me, of intuitive spiritualists that believe that that innately this is what you feel that people are so distracted by media and stuff you're not you really don't listen to your instinct you just don't and instinct is that um like i said what what's the point what's the point why don't we just go straight to heaven or hell no because you have to grow as a person and earn your position you're, you're not going to be a full person if you don't learn you know when you don't go to college Boom, you just go to college. You have to learn. You have to study things, you know? So it's not that simple. And I think it's the same with the plane of heaven and hell. You know, you have to earn it in order to appreciate it more. And I think that's what life is about. Problem, the more problem I have with atheists is that there's a lot of people, um, they, they think they're smarter than everybody. They just really think, I think there's more atheism now because a lot of people are, they just want to feel like they're different. Oh, there's, there's this, there's this social thing about being the nonconformist now. Um, you know, if everybody's straight, I want to be gay. If everybody's, you know, uh, theist, I want to be atheist. Like it's always an opposite. And you are right. There are some atheists out there that think think that they have an intellectual superiority over theist. And those people most typically do not. Um, because somebody declares themselves an atheist does not make them smarter or more intelligent. It just it just means that they do not believe in a god or gods. And those that take it beyond that, I have a personal problem with. This is the same thing that theists do to atheists when they say that um, I believe in a god, therefore I am morally right in everything I do, and you are not. Or they will say that I have a set of morals and you don't. It, it's a back and forth on both sides, and it's actually quite annoying. I notice a lot of them are usually white males. They're usually extremely cold, antisocial. They don't really have a lot of love in them. I will admit that the more prominent atheists that you find on YouTube are generally white males. But there are black female atheists on, on YouTube. And there are Hispanic atheists on YouTube. And there are 
Asian descendant uh, atheist on YouTube and out in the real world. For you to sit there and say that they're cold and not loving, um, I have a problem with because uh, most of the atheists that I deal with are really open, happy people. I really don't know where you're coming up with that from. Yes, there are some atheists that are argumentative and that want to debate, but there are theists also that are argumentative, cold, and want to debate. I mean, not really. And they're always combative and debatable. Like, everything is a debate. Every, you know, and they're always, the only thing they can stand on is their supposed intelligence. Like, Everything is based around their intelligence, and I'm smarter than you, and I'm smarter than you. Like, as I've said said before, yes, there are some atheists that do put themselves up on a pedestal, but I think that you're um, overlooking the the arguments that are actually being made by atheists. So I would like to ask you a question: What are the arguments? that atheists actually make. Please. To me, intelligence is really relative in some ways because this is the society that created a certain intelligence. That's why some people do better on tests than others. I really do believe that. You know, if if a different group of people ruled this world, then they would fare better in, on intelligence tests because they made this, you know, they made the whole society. So. And at the end of the day, your intelligence, what's it going to really get you? Okay, yeah, material things, but is that really important? You know? It really isn't. It's, I mean, all of these things about being intelligent is really taking you further from a purpose as a human being. I have to disagree with you. Um, I think that, that the more we learn, the more we grow. And the more that we grow with our learning, the more that we can pass on to future generations so that they can grow and learn more and pass it on to future generations. And that is to interact with other human beings. All this atheism, I never hear them ever say they love anyone or they care about anyone. They never say, they're always talking about theories and science and all this stuff. They never seem to be loving people. I don't get that from them. And I, I don't know which atheist you're actually listening to, but most, most of the ones that I know are actually overall more loving and more caring than, than some theists that I know. In fact, some of the most bigoted, hateful racist, homophobic crap that I have heard spew from people's mouths have been from theists. I know, I know a couple, and they all seem to be extremely miserable. Um, they're always debating about something. They're always talking, they're always talking in ways to try to prove their intelligence. They're so busy doing that, they're not really, you know, they're not helping the homeless guy on the street, or they're not helping the old lady cross the street. They're just so busy talking about these theories. And I'm sure I'm going to get a barrage of comments from tons of atheists saying, well, you know, I'm smarter than you, and you're obviously a stupid whatever. Don't call me a Christian, because I'm not a Christian. Um, so we, let's just get that straight. Like Okay, you said that um, you only know a couple of atheists. I suggest that you look around either your neighborhood or more on YouTube for the atheists that are actually, you know, here. Um, you won't find as many um, argumentative atheists as you're talking about, but you will find some that are very open to discussion. Your claim about atheists don't help people. Uh, right now, I'm gonna mention uh, DPR Jones and um, his charity event for Doctors Without Borders. Um, I will go into more depth um, about your comment 
that atheists don't help people at the end of this video because it pertains to a comment reply that you made on this particular video of yours. I believe in God, yes. Um, I have total proof that God is real. I can't prove him to you because I can only go from what I experienced. So. Then how can you say that you have total proof that a God exists? That's one of the arg arguments that um, us atheists run into a lot is that people say that they have this feeling that God exists and that for them a God really exists. But they cannot give us any way of actually testing what a god actually is that can be objectively verified. And from what I feel, I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like people want to just get away from that and it gives them the license to do what they want to do. And that's the problem I have with it, you know, that if you take God out of the equation, you know, you don't have to be guilty about anything you do. You could feel great about stuff and and killing people, drugs, and whatever. Because, you know, it's my life. I'm going to do what I want to do. What makes you think that somebody not believing in a god or gods has them going around killing people and doing drugs and doing whatever they want? We are still subject to society as a whole. I have another question for you too. Why is it that according to statistics, atheists make up about 12% of the US population with, um, with 80 some percent made up of theists and the rest are uh, consider themselves as Gnostic and they don't put themselves in any other category. Why is it then that in U.S. prison systems, uh, there's less than 2% of atheists in prisons? If we, if according to you, we feel like that we can go out and kill people and do drugs and do whatever we want. The thing about it is, I'm an open-minded person in general. If you're going to be an atheist, enjoy. Have your fun. I mean, am I going to judge you? Of course, everybody judges people. I'm going to be like, wow, I really feel bad because, you know, I don't know what's going to happen to you when it ends for you, you know, when life ends. But, I mean, if you're going to be an atheist, fine. But don't bash people that do believe in God unless they bash you. And if you're atheist, please still have compassion for others. You know, because I just feel... Atheism always clicks for me that people are just cold. I mean, do you still care about people? Again, I ask you to please um, get to know more atheists. No, we're not all cold, heartless individuals that don't care for uh, the human species or this planet. Um, I really don't know which ones you have run into that you're making this this judgment on um, but I really think that you need to meet more really do because it wouldn't be right for me to judge all theists um, by those that discriminate against someone's ethnicity against someone's sexuality against someone that does not believe in a god or gods do you do any good in this world or are you just are you just taking from the earth or you're not giving really i mean cuz especially in native american culture we don't believe in just taking and taking and taking and taking the more you take the more mother nature is mad at you and mother nature is god basically um and that's why the world is the way it is um you know do you give back to your fellow human beings we are all connected there was actually a time, and this is true from for your little scientific nuts, that women's um, menstruation was always in sync. 
it stopped being in sync because of, you know, we have artificial light now, but that's just the proof to you that energy is connected to everyone. If you I would really like to know where you got that from, because according to all of the historical records that we have, menstruation cycles have always varied um, from culture to culture, from, um, from time period to time period. There's never been any recordings of menstruation cycles syncing up like that. Don't believe in God, believe in energy. Dr. Emoto did a, a rice experiment. I don't feel like explaining all of it. Google Dr. Emoto's rice experiment. You mean the same experiment that was debunked a few years ago um, by showing that if you controlled the environment and not allowed any bacteria uh, to be in the jars or in the lids, um, that mold would not grow from it, that experiment? In a nutshell, if you're negative, negative things will happen to you. Please explain how Dick Cheney became vice president. So if you want to take God out of the equation, I don't suggest you do that. But if you don't want, if you want to believe in God, believe in this fact that energy is very important. And if you think bad things and you don't give out anything positive, negativity will get back to you. Yeah, because those Wall Street bankers, you know, really deserved to um, to get the bailouts for um, for nearly bringing the economy of the world to its knees, you know. Yeah, because they were such good people and they put out such positive energy. Just saying, you know. Um, I, I get where you're coming from that people should be more positive to other people, but please look at reality for what it is. There are people that do really bad things and hurt people that get positive results from it. The secret's kind of a joke because I already knew this from a little girl I was taught this, but I hope Atheism, atheism isn't, don't spend all your time trying to debunk Christian belief and debunk, just, if you don't like Christians, then they don't mean anything to you. They don't mean anything, whatever. For some people, um, they try to debunk myths by trying to disprove them. If they, if those myths make it through the scientific pr process, then they're no longer myths. They're actually proven true by not being able to be proven false. Um, that's why there's a lot of debunking of religion done. For your second point, I would be more than happy to leave religion alone if there was not individuals who saw fit to impose their own religious beliefs Onto, onto the rest of society. Like I mentioned before, three of the most prominent people running for, um, for the presidency for 2012, um, they have been trying to inject their own religious beliefs into the government. There's other religious groups that are trying to impose their own religious beliefs into school. Uh, one of the biggest things is 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 that they're trying to uh, put what's called intelligent design into the science classroom next next to evolution. In fact, those within intelligent design and some theists have a big problem with evolution, um, and they're trying to reduce the education that we are giving future generations because they want to promote their own religious ideology. That's where a lot of the focus is actually at. Um, if they would stay out of the government and stay out of the schools, there wouldn't be as much of a debate and much as a problem that you see from atheists. I just feel like 
you calling another group stupid doesn't make anything it doesn't solve anything what are you doing for the world you're not doing anything for the world you're just making it more difficult prove to people like prove to christians or me or don't prove to anybody at all but just be the best person you can be period and if a christian person comes up to you and starts bible thumping they're kind of crazy anyway so i really wouldn't waste my time even thinking about them because i don't think about christians like that like I am a Christian in some ways, but the Bible is just not, I'm not down with the Bible like that, but I don't, I don't try to influence anything. I'm just saying that the way the world is going right now, a lot of people forget thousands of fish and birds die all around the world. We're having tsunamis and all this stuff. It's time to stop arguing and let's just be good to one another. Okay. Part two coming up. I hope that you know that we have natural explanations for tsunamis and hurricanes and rainfalls, you know, we, we can explain how and why those things actually happen. Now, um, earlier on you uh, said that atheists don't help uh, the poor or help somebody cross a street and I said that I wanted to deal with that now um, because I wanted to include one of the comments and one of the reply comments you made that is on this thread and here it is Um, I took some personal offense to this because I've done charity work myself, uh, both when I was a Christian and now as an atheist. Um, I don't need to believe in a god or gods or some higher be being or power to get me to help out my fellow human being. Um, in the description... I'm actually going to leave a list of secular and atheist charities. As I mentioned before, a user on YouTube called DPR Jones is helping out with uh, Doctors Without Borders, which is a secular charity. Um, to go with the... Um, the kind of first thing in your comment that really got to me though was that the is is this atheists just to just just debate and show off show off how how so how so called called intelligent they are um some do some try to have a very open discussion with theists on here and there are theists that try to have a very open discussion with atheists. On both sides, you will have assholes. It's, it's part of what's actually out there. And you said earlier in your video that, that you've only known a couple atheists. I ask you to please get to know more. Because you're generalizing. And generalizing is not a good thing. Especially on this site, you will have people come after you because of that. Also because I think you need to open yourself up to what people's actual positions are and what they actually do and what they actually say. Um, we, we atheists, or the majority of us, do not think that the weak should suffer and strong survive. I don't know where you got that from, but please don't misrepresent us like, like that. Um, yeah, that's all that I really have to say in this video response to you. Um, I hope that this video response helped clarify some things and ask some questions to you uh, you have another video on your channel called why I can't sta stand black atheists 
I'm going to go check that video out right now. I don't know if I'm going to do a response video to that or not. I hope that what I covered here is is enough for you. If not, uh, comment. I, I welcome comments and I welcome video responses. And this is a direct open invitation to you to discuss further. Have a good one.